Okay, yeah, so this is the big day. Um, got all those other mistakes out of the way. So this is uh, this is the one that we're going to, uh, yeah, we'll nail this one and get, get this over and done with. So I'm looking forward to this. Um, really enjoyed all the training that we've done in the uh, in the Arctic, so I've, I've really, really enjoyed it. So yeah, I've been, uh, I'm going into this slightly more relaxed. Um, and yeah, really looking forward to this one. After all the studying of theory and gruelling hours behind the wheel, Tom must gear himself up for his ultimate challenge. He may be more relaxed, but the test itself will require every ounce of concentration that Tom would normally bring to the racetrack. The first test is reversing this huge Arctic trailer through a tunnel of narrow cones using only his mirrors. It takes razor-sharp awareness and a finely developed feel for the vehicle. Tom has literally little room for manoeuvre. The examiner is watching for a flawless performance. Tom must now demonstrate to the DSS examiners that he has what it takes to drive one of the most powerful vehicles on Britain's roads like a pro. And at the end of the road, I'd like you to turn right, please. Can Tom keep us cool all the way to the finish line? Some of the major errors that we have with C-plus-C drivers, not being aware of where their back tyres are on the trailer, and when they turn, sometimes they'll cut the corner off and scrape the kerb or even mount the kerb. That's one of the serious ones that we do get. Um, the other one is, is not driving according to the conditions. Sometimes it's too fast for the conditions they're driving in. Not reading the road far enough ahead so that things don't sneak up on them. If they're reading the road far enough ahead, and then they can check their mirrors in plenty of time, and they can ease off the gas, so that they're giving themselves all the time and space in order to deal with whatever is happening in front of them. I'd like to pull up on the left, please, in a safe position. The moment of truth has come. OK, Tom, um, that's the end of your driving test, and I'm pleased to say that you've passed. Excellent, thank well you. Well done. Perfect. You're welcome. Should you give me a couple of minutes to make a few notes on some paperwork? Yep. And then you can get out and start dancing. <laughs> Fantastic. OK, well done. Now, having passed his C plus and C plus E, Tom is now able to safely drive one of the most powerful vehicles on Britain's roads. Well done, buddy. I know you can do that. Cheers, mate. Well done. Thanks, mate. Nice work. Peace for you. Yes, right. Well done, Tom. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. There are just a couple of driving areas I'd like to go over. Yeah. Um, when we came up to the roundabout, just after we started off from here, you got yourself right over to the right. So you needed to centralise yourself a little bit more on that okay. one. So you pushed the trailer over a little bit. Yep. And then when we were coming down 
to the area where we had the stop sign in. Yep. Uh, when the stop sign is Complete slow yourself stop. down, yeah, slow yourself down just a little bit earlier. Okay. A little bit more forward planning, that's yep. what we're looking for. Okay. Okay, but that's going to come along with experience. Perfect. Well done, Tom. Excellent, thank you very much. You're thank welcome. You. Bye now. Thank you, Graham. Thanks. Cheers. Bye See bye you next week. Well. well done, mate. Thanks, mate. Nice one. <laughs> <laughs> just about. <laughs> yeah. It's been emotional. <laughs> Absolutely, it has been. Has been. Yeah, Seems a lifetime, sure. I guess, yeah. since we started, doesn't it? No, it's not ended in a few days. Well, well done. done. It's good. Okay. All right, I can have my truck back now. Yeah, all yours. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> there was a few, a couple of points you kind of doubted yourself. I mean, obviously after the, after the last not so successful test, it was, um, yeah, you can, you kind of think, well, you, you're more concerned about making sure you don't do the same mistake or you are making sure you don't do that. So yeah, it plays on you, it plays on your mind a bit, but it's always going to when you when you're under a bit of examination. So um, like I say, it felt it felt good. Um, a couple of those little minors, but like I say, they'll come with experience more than anything else. I actually did a, a um, pre-assessment, like a mock test with Tom just before the test, and my comment to Tom was that he's actually driving the truck to a very high standard, you know, almost as good as what an instructor would do. And I thought he would actually go through the test the first time quite easily, and I was quite shocked when he failed. But he got back on the horse and he, he went there and proved himself the next time. So, um, and now he's just gone in the C&E and passed it the first time round. I'm really happy. So, well done, Tom. Next time. So in terms of, uh, of a comparison between, uh, between what I do to drive the truck, let's have a look at this bad boy. Your forward planning is no different to the forward planning you're having in a race car. 